Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Contract Simplified, where we will be talking about A to Z of contract lifecycle management. In today's video, I will be speaking about adding some green contract, wherein I will be speaking about the environmental protection clauses. In today's world, taking care of our environment is a big deal. That's why it's super important to include special rules in contracts and agreements that look out for our planet. This article is all about why we should make sure our legal papers include things that help us to do right to the environment. We'll take a good look at different rules that can make sure we are being responsible, lessening our impact on the environment and working towards a future that's good for everyone. Let's check before we start with Environmental Impact Assessment Clause and Tools to do better with Sustainability Commitment Clause. Let's play by the green rules with Compliance with Environmental Laws Clause and Stop the Mess with Pollution Prevention Clause. Let's save our friends with Biodiversity Protection Clause and Cool Down with Carbon Emission Reduction Clause. Keep an eye out with Environmental Management System Clause and choose Smart with Sustainable Procurement Clause. Let's talk to everyone with Community Engagement and Consultation Clause and clean up our mess with Environmental Indemnity Clause. Now, let us understand the clauses better. To start with, Environmental Compliance Clause. Parties involved shall comply with all applicable environmental laws, regulations, and standards. Any breach of these regulations may result in the termination of the agreement. Green Procurement Clause. Both the parties agree to prioritize environmentally sustainable and ethically sourced material in the procurement process, promoting the use of eco-friendly products and services whenever feasible. Carbon Footprint Reduction Clause. Parties commit to implementing measures to reduce their carbon footprint. This may include energy efficient practices, waste reduction strategies, and the promotion of sustainable transportation options. Waste Management Clause. Parties shall implement effective waste management practices, emphasizing recycling, reuse, and reduction of waste. Both parties will work collaboratively to minimize the environmental impact of their operations. Biodiversity Conservation Clause. Parties recognize the importance of biodiversity conservation. They agree to avoid activities that may harm local ecosystem and wildlife habitats, taking steps to preserve and protect natural resources. Renewable Energy Clause. Both parties shall explore and incorporate renewable energy sources whenever feasible. This may include utilizing solar, wind, and other sustainable energy solutions to power operation and facilities. Environmental Reporting Clause. Regular reporting of environmental performance shall be mandatory. Both parties will share information on their environmental initiatives, progress, and achievements, fostering transparency and accountability. Environmental Education and Training Clause. Parties shall provide education and training programs for their employees to raise awareness about environmental issues and promote sustainable practices within the organization. Continuous Improvement Clause. Both parties commit to regularly reviewing and updating their environmental policies and practices, striving for continuous improvement in sustainability efforts. Environmental Impact Assessment Clause. Parties shall conduct an environmental impact assessment prior to initiating any project, activity, or development to evaluate potential environmental consequences and propose mitigation measures. Sustainability Commitment Clause. Parties agree to prioritize and sustainability practices, including but not limited to resource conservation, waste reduction, and the use of renewable energy sources throughout the duration of the contract. Compliance with Environmental Laws Clause. Parties shall comply with all available local and international environmental laws, regulations, and standards related to their operation, product, or services. Pollution Prevention Clause. Parties shall implement measures to prevent pollution of air, water, and soil, including the proper handling and disposal of hazardous substances, waste management practices, and pollution control technologies. Biodiversity Protection Clause. Parties shall take steps to protect and preserve biodiversity, natural habitats, and ecosystems affected by their activities, including the conservation of endangered species and the restoration of degraded environments. Carbon Emission Reduction Clause. Parties commit to reducing greenhouse gas emission associated with their operation, transportation, and supply chains, and may get specific targets for emission reduction or carbon neutral. 
neutrality. Environmental Management System, EMS clause. Parties may establish an environmental management system to monitor, measure, and continually improve their environmental performance with regular audits and reviews to ensure compliance and effectiveness. Sustainable Procurement Clause. Parties shall give preference to environmentally friendly products, materials, and services in their procurement process, considering factors such as life cycle impacts, eco label certification, and supplier sustainability practices. Community Engagement and Consultation Clause. Parties shall engage with local communities, indigenous people, and the other stakeholders affected by their operation to address environmental concerns, solicit feedback and support sustainability development initiatives. Environmental indemnity clause. Parties may include provision for indemnification or compensation in the event of environmental damage, contamination, or regularity violations caused by their actions or negligence. So this is all about the green clauses. If you have any questions or require any additional information, please feel free to reach out to us via WhatsApp at 994589315. And also you can subscribe to the newsletter and I have provided the link in the description. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel Contract Simplified. You can find this article in the LinkedIn in my profile, Advocate Pratika. Thank you for watching.